cheering and they weren't even part of my team and it was great like the environment is just so amazing here. What are a few things you learned from last year that you took into this year to dominate even more? Yeah so uh, last year you know I really I kind of only pushed the uphill and then kind of relaxed on the flat parts and so this year you know I pushed the uphill and then try to keep that pace consistently through the flatter more downhill parts and then also you know I um, when I was coming out this last uphill right here, I really pushed that because I knew I had the downhill finish and could just cook it in and then obviously the downhill finish was something I kind of took easy last year and then this year um, I just pushed it even though it was like almost a breaking point. I was like, ooh, it's a little bit hard, but I really pushed that last part in to kind of finish it off well. A lot of people have challenges here on these hills. What are, what are a few things you did to prepare this week or even over the summer? Yeah, so honestly, I haven't been doing that many hills this season, unfortunately, but I just carry some of the same tactics, so I always look down, never at the top of the hill, and I run a lot of, like, um, I'll do pushes, so I'll push really hard for 30 seconds and then kind of take, like, a two-minute, or, like, a two-second breather and then push really hard again for 30 seconds, so just, like, knowing what points on a hill that I want to hit, um, and, like, breaking up the hill really helps me. How does, how does this race and all the hills prepare you for the rest of the season, does it? Yeah, so it sometimes does, like, Mount Sac, the famous hilly course, so that kind of helps me prep for that and, you know, gets me stronger definitely and prepared for running different terrain when I go into CIF and it's flat, so that's always helpful because then I just know how to push really fast on the flat part.